This is Mr. Masonette, and what we're going to do in this math video is practice finding the measure of some unknown angles, specifically these three angles right here, one, two, and three. All right, now one thing I like to do with problems like these is just try to find one piece of missing information that's easy to find. For example, I can see that this angle right here is sitting right next to this 120 degree angle, and together they form a 180 degree angle. They are supplementary angles, and the supplement to 120 is 60 degrees. Now, this is not one of the three angles we have to find, but we can use this piece of information to determine what angle one is equal to. Because we have this angle, 54, and we know that this angle is 60, and we know that the third angle of any triangle must add to the other two to equal 180 degrees. So together, those two angles are 114 degrees, which means this third one must be 66 degrees because 66 and 114 make 180 degrees. Now it is given in the problem that line segments WZ and XY are parallel to each other. And what we should notice is this line right here cuts across that pair of parallel lines. We would say that this line right here is a transversal to those parallel lines. Now, one thing that we should know about transversals and parallel lines is they form these things called alternate interior angles. For example, if we take a look at this angle right here, we see it is 54. And if we go to the alternate side of our transversal and go right here, this angle right here would be congruent to this angle here. So angle two is 54 degrees because these two angles are alternate interior angles. Now, we have to be careful here because you may be wondering then why isn't this angle and this angle congruent to each other? Well, they are not alternate interior angles because if we extend our parallel lines off into space a little bit, here's what we should notice. It is this angle and this angle together with this angle and this angle together, which are alternate interior angles. So this little slice right here did not show the entire angle that is part of the alternate interior angles. However, this angle here and this angle here are congruent to each other. All right, now that we know two of the three angles of this triangle, we can easily find the measure of angle three. So we're gonna take 36 degrees and 54 degrees and add those measures together, and that gives us 90 degrees, which means this angle must measure 90 degrees as well because together that is the sum of 180. So now we know that angle one is 66 degrees, angle two is 54 degrees, and angle three is equal to 90 degrees. Hey, I just wanna say thanks for checking out this math tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and enable notifications so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials to my math channel. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.